Hello there everybody, my name is Boomer Brown and welcome back to Ballymoon Castle. Um, I've had a good night's sleep. Uh, it has rained a little bit overnight and it's uh, pretty overcast. Well, it doesn't actually look overcast at the moment, but the weather is supposed to be overcast. and We might get some cloud as we go along. Um, so I have just woken up, I brought the tractor and trailer back down uh, to the yard last night and got a good night's sleep for myself. Uh, I haven't actually been out to the field um, just yet where we had the worker going um, and I've also just realised that we've left the uh, tractor and plough out in the rain all night um, so yeah I've just kind of dumped the tractor and trailer in there for now um, so I'm going to head up and actually have a look at what our worker managed to get done ah uh, yeah okay so he reached here and then decided to give up okay um I don't know that he's going to be able to actually plough the rest of this um, so it may be a job that I'll have to do myself um, I think I'm going to pull the tractor down here for now and uh, just to get it out of the way or to get it at least set up for ourselves uh, so it's probably going to be a thing that I'm going to have to plough the rest of this myself. I know he gets confused uh, because of the shape of the field and also by that um, electricity pole up there so we might as well drop the plough and I'm just going to switch off the tractor um, because this morning we have a job to do. We have to get down to the um, a seed dressing point down at um, down near the animal market and we're going to um, get ourselves some seed which is actually going to save us a little bit of money I'm gonna check the prices of crops at the moment okay so the price for the oilseed rape or the canola is actually pretty good over at the grain mill at the moment wheat is definitely not doing so well um, so what I might do is use the wheat seed and uh, we'll grab a trailer load of that and use it for um, creating our own seed uh, I'm not actually sure are we actually going to be saving that much money by doing it, but it's kind of a fun thing to do anyway. So, uh, we're going to pull forward here over to the grain silos, uh, where we've actually got the wheat stored up. And we're going to load up a trailer of that. Uh, let me see now, where is the pipe? Um, we might bring the pipe out straight away. Um, I actually feel like I've done this before. Maybe I tried to record this portion of it before. Um, this isn't the first attempt at uh, turning this into a series I've had, so maybe it was something I've attempted before. Um, let's just check where the pipe is. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Okay, and we're going to refill with uh, wheat, we were saying, yeah. So we might as well fill the trailer. Um, I don't know, is that leaving us with anything in stock? It is actually, we've actually got quite a bit still in stock, so we're going to hold on to that for now anyway. Um, I may actually end up selling some of this canola or the sunflower seeds. We don't have anything else uh, in stock at the moment, no. Uh, the price of wool actually got pretty good. Um, up over 8,000. Of course we don't have any wool to sell. It is dropping now, but it's still a fantastic price. Um, I think I've sold it for 5,000 before, uh, just because it was a great demand on, but I think I'm going to wait until the winter uh, to sell the wool this time. We're going to hoard it in uh, one of the sheds up by the sheep farm. Uh, it would be handy to actually get a forklift for up there as well, because um, uh, manoeuvring the tractor and the front loader is, uh, yeah, well, it's kind of difficult to say the least. Um, and while we're over here, we may buy the sheep. I think I've decided not to go messing with um, trucks and trailers for the moment. Um, and kind of getting the sheep up there ourselves. I think I'm just going to um, have them delivered and go up. And um, that's probably going to cost us... I don't know if it's actually going to cost us anything extra. I'm not sure how much uh, we get charged. If it's a ridiculous price, I think I've got the... Uh, Marker switched on for the transport over there because uh, he's this big, tall, um, Minas Morgul type. Uh, and I've hit the wall. 
Uh, we've got this uh, sort of Lord of the Rings, Minas Morgul type uh, beam uh, heading skyward over there, uh, which I think is actually marking out the transport. Um, yeah, we'll probably turn that off. Uh, so here is our turning. I'm going to head in here and I'm not sure if we've actually been, have we been down here this series yet? I don't know that we have. Um, so what is this? This is a sale for forage. Uh, so possibly straw that's sold in the other place. Um, so down here we have our um, seed dressing and our uh, fertilizer making machines. Um, so basically uh, we've got these two uh, unloading areas here. If we pump in our uh, manure or our liquid manure or our slurry, uh, we can actually make fertilizer. Um, it takes a little bit of time for it to actually work, but it does. It, it, it does produce pretty quickly as far as I know. And here is the bay that we uh, would dump our seeds in. So we'd dump um, any of these seeds in and um, it would create a, a, dressed, a dressed seed that we'd be able to get out of here. Um, and of course you can use it just like the normal seed. Like you can just because I'm putting wheat in doesn't mean I am going to be restricted to sowing wheat with this. I will be able to sow the uh, oilseed rape as well. Um, so we're going to um, back ourselves into there and try and unload. Uh, the whole process uh, is automatic so we don't actually have to uh, sit around here. It only takes a little bit of time. Um, it may actually be instantaneous, I'm not sure, but we're going to pretend that it takes a little bit of time to do it and we're going to start tipping. And we're, well, we're missing the, uh, the grate entirely. Um, but it's still in the trigger, so it's fine. And if we jump out, we should... Do, do, or do we actually have to activate it? I'm not sure. Maybe we need to pull off the um, the ramp and out of the trigger for it to start up. Um, as far as I know, we don't have to activate it. It activates itself. Um, let's have a look over here. Okay, so we've got 8,500 in there. Maybe we do have to activate it. It doesn't seem to be doing it. And this has worked before. Uh, maybe do we need to pull our trailer... Oh no, it's activated. There we go. Um, so yeah, you can see the value of the seed is decreasing. And over here on this readout, we should see... Yes, we have already produced 1,250 seed. Uh, so that will take a little bit of time. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long it takes. Um, but it should be done by the time we get back. There may be a limit on how much you can produce at a time. I mean, I know we've got these silos here, but there may actually be a limit on how much we can produce um, before we have to actually unload. I think what I'm going to do is back the trailer. Um, we, no, actually we back it in over here a little bit, just out of the way. And we're going to leave it here until later. I know there's no cover on it, so it could potentially fill with water uh, if it does rain. Although this, there is sun forecast, so I don't think we're going to be uh, in danger of the weather. And, yeah, we're just going to drop that there for now. Uh, because uh, we have to get on with our sheep this morning. Um, and that is, of course, handled over here at the animal market. Or the mart, as most people would call it. Um, we're just going to pull up here for now. So, this is another ingenious little thing that's in the map. Uh, we're just going to switch off the engine. Um, so here we are at the Ballymoon Livestock Market, uh, County Carlo. Um, so, we'll go inside. And it's really well done. Um, we get to see all our animals in here. Um, and there's obviously holding pens and things in here. And uh, here is the loading ramp. Which is an interesting thing. Um, there's no other buy points or sell points in here. Um, I don't think so. Um, 
That cow is looking a bit weird. Um, she looks more like she has collapsed rather than. Uh, uh, and there's a very glazed look in her eyes. I, oh, that leg does not look as though it's bent in the right direction at all. Uh, I think we'd pass on buying that one. Um, yeah. Okay, oh, actually, there is a sale point in here, which must be for. Uh, I'm guessing. Forage? Grass sale. So yeah, you could sell grass and hay in there. I don't think it's worth a hell of a lot, uh, to be honest with you. Anyway, we were going to buy ourselves some sheep. We were going to buy ourselves about 100 sheep, in fact. So, in order to get them loaded, we have to come over to this uh, little icon here. So the market loader. Uh, so we watch outside the window. And the door opens. The ramp rolls out and our little trigger appears. So if we were uh, up here with our trailer, you'd back your trailer into this position here and uh, you'd be able to access and load your animals. So we're just going to go in here. Uh, so yeah, a sheep is valued at about 500. Um, and we want to buy about 100 of these things. Hold on now. Okay, so 100. It's costing us 650. Okay, so it's 150 per animal to be delivered. Let's get it up to 100 animals, and so that's losing us 15,000 in a delivery fee, which is quite a bit. Um, 15,000 just to have them delivered? Uh, let's check the price. Ah, uh, for leasing a truck. Um, okay, so it's it's twelve thousand to lease the truck, and um, it should be under animals, I think. So eight, almost nine. Yeah, I think we're still actually working out cheaper. Um, I think yeah, I think just even for convenience. 115. Yeah, so it was 12 loan. It was about 8. Yeah, whereas it's actually still working out slightly cheaper. So we're going to buy 100 animals and have them transported up for 15,000 euro, which is a ridiculous price. That needs to be. Someone needs to create a mod uh, to alter that. Um, I would understand paying for, say, a group of 50. You make a charge, to, I don't know, whatever, 100 euro or something from one and 100 euro for two and all the way up to 50 and then maybe 200 because it'd be probably two trips to get them there um anyway we're gonna buy 100 sheep and uh we're committing uh, uh oh we've got 101 we want we don't want 101 and we want 100 uh 100 animals for 65,000 euro uh yeah it's done and that brings our grand total down to 59,000 euro, which sounds like a lot, but um, most of that, remember, is a loan, and we don't have a hell of a lot of income coming in. So obviously, the, the once the trigger's gone back in, um, pressing the R key does nothing. Uh, we can't get the uh, trigger to pop up, so you actually have to go in there to get it to open. And I think it's a brilliant thing. I think that is incredible. Um, to have something like that in the game, it just adds a dimension, an extra dimension to it. Um, so, we might actually check just before we leave how our seed production is going. Um, so we're on 8,500. And there's zero left in here. I think we put in 8,500. Uh, so there was no loss. Which is kind of interesting. It's actually starting to cloud over as well as predicted. Um, we might as well get that seed back as we are on the road. Um, We'll stop by the farm on the way to the sheep. Uh, checking in on the sheep, actually. I th I'm guessing they need uh, pretty much everything at this stage. Yeah, they're still 44% productive. Um, okay, so we've arrived at the sheep farm. 
uh, I can see the flock out in the field uh, already. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them some water first. Um, the animals absolutely cannot survive without um, water. And the thing about seasons is, uh, I think in the base game, if you uh, neglect your animals, uh, you don't give them enough food and water, I think they just lose productivity. Whereas with seasons, um, the animals will actually start to die off. So it is kind of important that you uh, keep them tended. Uh, so we're going to back the uh, water tanker in here and we hit the trigger. I may actually just leave it kind of parked up here. Um, going backwards a little too fast. Any second now. There we go. And we're going to hit. I don't know. I wonder if any of them actually died already. Um, no, we've still got 100. Okay, and I'm betting we're. Uh, to feed the animals for three days. Uh, though we will probably be back uh, before the three days has elapsed. Uh, we'll probably have to do a little bit of cleaning up as well. Um, so, we got a bale spike? We do. We're going to give them a bale. We may actually be able to give them two bales. I'm not sure how much they'll take. Um, if we give them, we give them one and see how it goes. I think we may need to give them two actually um, to feed them up. And I'm getting a little bit of lag again just because the, the uh, electric lights have come on uh, because of the dark day, um, which seems to be lagging me again. That's because I am playing on a laptop. Uh, a proper computer would handle this no problem. Um, so no, I'm not criticizing uh, the game or the mod developers either. Uh, it's definitely uh, my system that is the issue. Okay, try not to hit the uh, pillar. Uh, we might as well do this from in cap view. Uh, uh, lower to oh, there we go. Uh, let's see how they're doing. Uh, they could take another bale, and I think we'll give it to them. There we go. Much better. We didn't get the message that they are fed for three days, though. Um, so they could probably take a little bit more. Uh, we're not going to give it to them for now. Um, I think they have to get up above 50% before we actually start getting lambs and wool. But they should uh, start getting into that uh, pretty soon because spring is the time for lambs and uh, spring and summer they will be producing wool. Uh, wool with seasons stops being produced in the autumn as well as in the winter. And I think after summer in the autumn, perhaps in the winter, uh, I'm not sure if the prices fluctuate or not. Um, I know they would if we didn't have the better animal prices installed. I don't know if these mods are entirely compatible with each with see if that mod is completely compatible with seasons or not uh, so it'll be interesting to see if the prices fluctuate oh, i've pressed the wrong key again uh, it's g we need and i'm gonna detach the forks i'm gonna be sure that they have detached which they haven't um that seems to be something that happens to me a little bit um I detach them and they immediately reattach. Maybe my key is starting to stick or something. Um, but yeah, that is our sheep tended. And um, there they are. Out in the field, as I say, it doesn't look like we've got 100 of them. Um, because they don't all obviously uh, show up. It's just kind of uh, to give the notion that there are sheep in there. And they are handsome little animals indeed really well uh, modelled as well I must say um, though their motion is probably a little bit weird um, oh there's a standoff oh they don't like each other at all um, yeah I think there's going to be a little bit of trouble there and yeah it's so very dark and it's still it's pretty late in the day so yeah, I'm guessing this is where they come in uh, to get fed. And uh, then they make their way in here to be sheared by the twins. Um, first time I came in here, I wasn't quite sure uh, what I had walked in on. It's uh, a little bit strange. 
But uh, we're gonna we're we're just gonna back out now and uh, leave the guys to their good work. Um, Producing the water pallets. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so we've got 13% of a pallet. Or we've got 13 units of wood already. And our next animal is due in uh, 15 hours. Uh, that's 15 in game hours, I'm guessing. So we are uh, well on our way to creating some new lambs, which we're probably going to sell at some point. But we're going to keep them around for now. And has the pallet spawned? The pallet has spawned. Uh, it looks a little more full than it is. I think we can get two pallets here and then we have to come and um, Remove them otherwise we won't be able to spawn, but we get a warning about that as well And I think the handiest place is to store them in here I would love to get a forklift as well. Um, it would just make all of this so much easier um, I've got a modded forklift installed on the game as well, so or even a front loader or something um, or not a front loader, um, a wheel loader um, would we'll just help to get things yeah we're leaving that there because we need to bring the bucket up next time uh, so I think it is back to the main farm from here and uh, we're going to continue with the plowing um, I also need to hire a seeding machine so uh, with the dark I'm going to attempt finish the plowing on this field and then we're going to go and get our cedar and uh, hopefully start planting this field. Uh, not sure if this is going to be a jump cut or a time lapse um, but whatever it is I don't think I'm going to be able to keep talking uh, all the way through the plowing of this piece of land even though there is only a small bit left to be done. Uh, so I will see you in a little bit. So yeah, there's a few patches here and there, but that's good enough for me. Um, field 19, I'm not going to bother uh, plowing it. I mean, it would give us an extra 10% uh, on it, but I've just realised that we actually don't own this plow. It is rented, and we need to uh, actually get it back uh, to the shop. Um, the day is also pressing on, and the mist has finally cleared as well. Uh, so this is the stand of trees that I was talking about. Um, I definitely don't think we have enough time to uh, fell them uh, during the springtime. Uh, so this may be a job for the winter. Um, we will either extend the field um, up to here somewhere, or we will cover the entire thing with, um, or the area that we fell with, um, some biofuel willow. Not entirely sure yet. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, the reason I've so yeah, those two fields are ploughed. That's going to be our um, just off in the distance. There is going to be our oil seed rape, and this is going to be our wheat, which is going to give us a little bit of straw. And I'm probably just going to sow grass in there, and uh, probably cut around the pond and out to here as well uh, with the moor. It just gives a little bit of extra grass, so I'm not too worried about getting. Um, plowing done in there uh, for now. I mean, these fields, as a farm expands, I can see them becoming um, grass fields anyway. Uh, I mean, for now, we are going to be taking grass from the castle grounds, but uh, it does kind of make sense to have the grass meadows pretty close to 
uh, the farmyard itself uh, for silage and that kind of thing it does make it a little bit easier when you can just run in and out um, with the tractor and get things done uh, quickly so uh, the next thing we need is a sewing machine uh, we've already got our seed and we're going to buy our fertilizer uh, hold on, is this the one we want? This is the one we want, I think. Yeah, this is the most oilseed rape and the thing, the wheat. And we also can put in fertilizer. We are going to lease it. And while we're down at the shop, I am going to uh, return the plow as well. Uh, as far as I know, we didn't buy the plow. I don't think we did. It wouldn't have made sense uh, to buy the plow anyway. Um yeah so we didn't so that's going to be costing us money and i don't want to put any more time on it either uh then we need to so i'm going to uh run this down to the uh store and uh, we're going to pick up uh the cedar that we have rented and uh, i'm going to begin seeding uh the fields with um crops for the year ahead hopefully we'll have enough seed in that trailer that we got if not uh, we do still have some wheat but I think we do actually have enough uh, seed in that but we can go and uh, make some more or we could in fact buy some but it's as well to use up the uh, wheat that we have in stock for um, planting so uh, I'm gonna run down to the shop and uh, swap over the tools and get back into the field as quickly as possible So I've been down to the shop, I've gotten the cedar, and I have decided that the easiest way to do this is to um, actually put the seed into our silos. And to use that as our uh, sort of refill point, I think. I think I'm just going to just drop the trailer here for now. Uh, we may need to um, move it into a shed after a while. Uh, so let's get ourselves hooked on to the cedar and begin planting out the grass field. I do actually need to rent, or perhaps I'm kind of thinking um, that I might buy a um, cultivator. Uh, for the bigger fields that we have ploughed already uh, just because I don't think this is um, capable of cultivating as well as um, sowing the seeds so we may actually need a cultivator although I think it can actually plant um, directly into a ploughed field it just doesn't kind of seem right to do something like that it seems more like um, I'm exploiting some mechanic of the game rather than doing things uh, properly so let's see if that's close enough. Yeah, that'll do. We'll hook it on and we're gonna lift it up. And we're gonna see about taking some of our seed out of the silos. And we are going to be planting grass uh, first off, I think. Um, I think the pipe is out already, is it? I think that's the pipe, yeah. So we will just Pull forward. Um, oh yeah, it's working. Uh, so wheat, no, barley, canola, soybeans, corn. Seeds. Oh, we can actually store fertilizer in here as well. Liquid fertilizer and fertilizer. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we are just going to take the seed first. And that filled up pretty quickly. Um, and we're going to make our way down to these silos over here uh, to get ourselves some fertilizer. Just try and figure out which one is fertilizer. Uh, it's the one over here. Okay. Just back ourselves in under the pipe. I'm going to hit R, and in comes the fertilizer. Excellent. So we're going to close that up, and we're going to make our way down. And it's actually recognizing that there's something there as well. We're going to 
close that. Yeah, so I've decided to uh, buy the fertilizer uh, on site rather than uh, hauling bags of it up from the shop itself. I may do that eventually, or we may even uh, start making some of our own once the uh, cattle and that start producing manure, although we don't have cattle yet, so it will probably be uh, for next spring that we'll be doing something like that. Okay, so here is the field. Um, I need to see if I remember how to use this thing. Um, so we may just start with a headland or something. Uh, so we're obviously going to lower it. I think we turn it on. Yeah, that seems to be working. E it is, and we're sowing wheat. Um, I'm going to switch that off for a second. Um, is it the Y key? It is. Uh, so we want it to be sowing grass in here. I wonder, can we over sow that with grass? Now that we've sowed a little patch of weed over here. Um, that's one way to find out, I suppose. Uh, it's not critical if we end up with a little patch of wheat over here anyway. I mean, we could probably bring the combine in and take it out. And there we go. So we're currently sowing grass. And we are done. Um, I'm actually a little bit rustier at this than I thought I was. Uh, it's been a long while since I've played. Uh, in fact, I actually watch back over the rest of this episode uh, just to figure out exactly where I was and what was going on. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure how much daylight we have left. Uh, it's about half five at the moment. I think the sun because it's early spring, I think it should be going down sometime around 6 o'clock, so we might not actually have uh, a lot of daylight left to do any other planting. Uh, we also, I think, now this cedar will um, plant on a ploughed field, but I don't think it's supposed to work like that. I think we are actually supposed to cultivate the field as well. Uh, so I think that... Um, the rest of the day will probably be spent with me getting a cultivator up here. Um, as far as I'm thinking at the moment, um, so I think we are kind of stuck with going for the um, 4 meter working with. It does require 160 horsepower, and we can only provide 145, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, 145. So we're just going to have to uh, hope that this works. Um, there's a little bit of a gradient on the big field, but um, uh, we should be able to handle that. I'm hoping we're able to handle that. Uh, so we're going to purchase this for 14,000. And we may as well... Uh, drop down to the shop and collect it now. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, we actually have to lower it down first. That's okay. Um, there we go. And if I can fit in. The collision isn't letting me in. And we're going to disconnect that. And we're going to run down and pick it up as I say. I don't think we're going to get much cultivating done this evening, but at least we'll have it back to the farm ready to go for tomorrow morning. Um, actually, as we're heading the way, it's worth checking out how our sheep are actually doing. Okay, so we've got 18% of a pallet, their product, their health is at 45%. I thought we had a productivity or has the game been updated? I always thought we had a, a productivity thing. Maybe we don't. Um, we haven't gotten any new sheep yet. We're still waiting for six hours. Uh, our next animal is coming in six hours. 15 hour reproduction rate. Cleanliness is down to 70%. I think that they can wait until the morning. Yeah, and it'll probably be better. We'd get a better benefit uh, out of doing them in the morning. So we're going to um, head off down to the shop and see about picking up uh, our cultivator uh, for tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's getting sunset already, so we won't uh, probably work to 
too long after dark. Um, since we'll be working under lights, and I think our workers cost a little bit more uh, if we hire them uh, after, I think, 6 o'clock in the evening. So it's going to be costing us quite a bit. And we're probably going to need a worker and ourselves uh, working the big field uh, tomorrow. Just to get it done in time. Beautiful spring evening. We've got a lovely sunset coming in again. Uh, our grass field should actually have started to sprout by tomorrow, so we should actually have some grass. And um, I think at that stage we need to start fertilizing. Uh, of course, that's not going to be our only grass field. We are going to be uh, cutting grass up at the, around the castle grounds, as I said before. Um, unfortunately, fertilizing up there is not going to be an option for us, uh, unless I was to go up there and plow. Um, it's debatable whether... Whoa! Something happened to my mouse. Um, it's debatable whether I will actually end up plowing that into a field or not, uh, because we will probably be purchasing other fields uh, that we can... Um, sow grass on and maybe even some uh, corn uh, for silage and things like that so it's kind of debatable whether we'll need uh, that much grass or not and we may just end up uh, sowing a field that is that we purchase uh, rather than trying to convert that into a field we'll see how it goes anyway so here we are back at the shop uh, it's a place that I tend to spend a hell of a lot of time uh, in this game. Uh, it always seems to be uh, trekking back up and down to the shop, uh, buying new equipment and selling off stuff and leasing stuff. Leasing stuff kind of is dead money, but um, I suppose as long as you get them back kind of quick, and if it's a piece of equipment that you just kind of need uh, for a once-off, like we were leasing the plow, and to be honest, I didn't want to buy that cedar, I'd rather have a slightly larger cedar for when we start expanding. Uh, even this cultivator is a little bit small, but I think... Uh, let me see, how do I get out again? Yeah, it's he. But I think we will be doing well if we can actually um, manage to tow this thing at all. Uh, let's see, lift it up with V. See how it's looking on the... Wow, that is enormous. Um, it can't be folded back either, I don't think. So we may switch on our beacons, if I can remember how to do that. That's our hazards. Um, do, 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 do. I can't even remember. Uh, I'm sure I'll remember the keys again. Uh, as I say, it's been really long time since I've actually played a uh, farming simulator. It's been a couple of weeks at least, uh, so I'm a little rusty with the controls. Actually, we could bring up the controls. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da, cruise control speed, hard worker, low cultivator. Oh, we can fold the cultivator. That's good, because um, that's a little bit large to be pulling out onto the road just like that. Um, not entirely sure how to switch on my beacons. We'll just switch on our hazard warning lights for now, and uh, we'll try and not unfold it as we're going along the road. Yeah, so just have a quick look. And so there we have it, our brand new machine, if we can lower it down, there we go, and we're going to jump out, uh, I think we're just going to leave it there for the night, and so with our brand new piece of equipment safely back home in the sun setting, uh, once again over Valley Moon, I think it is time that I say thank you very much for tuning in, you have been watching Brimmer Brown on YouTube, and I will see you next time.